Hey you guys, I am today, let's see, today is Saturday and I just got back from a family vacation in the mountains for a little while which was really fun and then tomorrow I leave for Europe for seven or eight days and then I get back and then the I have one day at home I move out and into my dorm and then college starts the next week so um, this is one of my last days in my room here at my house and I really just love my room so much and last night it was dirty for so long like I'll show you hang on so please excuse the blue carpet I know it's really ugly okay, this whole area was just like a pile of clothes because I did not have I have a bunch of hangers now they're over there but I did not have hangers for the longest time and so I couldn't hang anything up my closet is actually pretty big it's back there I couldn't hang anything up for like the longest time and so I just had this pile of clothes right there and it was really frustrating like my room wasn't really that dirty it was just so much clothes so it's been that way for probably like three months at least and so last night I just at like 9 p.m. I was like, okay, time to clean my room. And even though I was supposed to be packing for Europe and I wasn't planning on cleaning my room at all, but yeah, I got it all done. It took me probably seven hours, but that's partly because I was also packing for college too. So today I am cleaning my room, packing for college and packing for Europe. I'm mostly packed for college and packing for Europe is a little bit more of a priority right now, just because I leave at 12 tomorrow. I will show you what I have for you or for college so far. This is my stuff I'm packing for stuff I'm thinking about taking to Europe. This is the bag I'm taking. It's an Osprey bag and it's pretty cool because it's good for traveling. I like Osprey bags for like backpacking and stuff but this one it rolls so it has wheels and then you can turn it you can also wear it as a backpack. And then there's also actually like a detachable backpack on the front. I'll show you, it's actually really cool. Okay, so this is the suitcase part. And then this is like its own backpack that comes off. So it's like two bags in one and it rolls. I'll show you what I have for college so far. I'm bringing all this stuff right here. This is just like some toiletries and my makeup and some laundry stuff. Bed sheets, pillowcases headphones, mouthwash, and then in here I have like some cups, a hat. This is dirt I got in Chimayo on my trips. I have a cute little bowl, just a bowl and a plate. I have a cookbook, hat, cup, my guitar. These are my hiking boots. I have, oh, this is like a collapsible salad bowl it's really cool so that I can take salad to lunch it like folds out and then I have a reed diffuser this is my little blender I use where did it go to make smoothies so these cups like clip on here and then I can just take them to go because their lid is drinkable you can drink out of it and then I just have some towels and blankets, a cute pillow. There's the case for my bedding or one of my bedding sets. A little plant and then this is all my clothes. Actually, this is like a third of my clothes. So I have bras, underwear, swimsuits, uh, like sleeping tank tops, comfy t-shirts, comfy shorts, um, like way less cute comfy tank tops, um, sweatpants, Oh wait, what is that? No, no, that's long sleeve shirts. Comfy tank tops, sports shorts, sports pants, sports bras, cloth or cloth shorts, um, jeanish denim -y shorts, skirts, pants, um, like cloth pants, and then these are tighter cloth pants. So these are like loose ones. These are tight ones. Jeans, pajamas. I have one flannel right now. I have a whole bunch of laundry to do leggings and then socks and I have more leggings too. This is the bedding I'm taking. This is a duvet cover from Urban and I have the matching pillowcases and then this is a comforter from Urban. So I'll probably use this one in the summer and this one in the winter. Okay, then here in my closet, I have the rest of the clothes I'm bringing. I have like 
some long sleeve shirts. These are all long sleeve shirts until um, right here. And then I have some v-necks here and t-shirts. And then another v-neck. And then it becomes tank tops. So these are all tank tops until here. And then these are all my dresses. So yeah, I'm bringing this section of clothes to college. So it'll be a whole lot. I'm definitely gonna have to narrow it down. But here's some of the decor that I wanna bring. I just don't know what I'm gonna have room for. I know that my dorm room is pretty old, so it's not that cute. It's like, honestly, it looks kinda like a depressing motel without anything in it. So I really have to decorate a lot and just make it look super cute. I have a couple of tapestries that you'll end up seeing in my dorm. I guess I don't want to unfold them right now, but I have a map one and then a cool little turquoise one. They're both from Urban. So yeah, but here's some of the other decor that I got. I actually got pretty much, yeah, 99% of this stuff I'm about to show you I got at garage sales or thrift stores for like nothing was over five dollars that I'm about to show you which is awesome so okay so I have these cute decorative flowers and they kind of are like on string so I can string it around something they're just cute yellow flowers I have these two little decorative pot things yes yeah, see this was one dollar decorative pot things I think those are cute I have this thing I got for a dollar at a garage sale this is a cool like cherry blossom wall hang piece. My friend offered to pay me $50 for it and I said no. Maybe I should have said yes, but this is a silver bowl with a cool fork in it. I guess I probably won't take this because it's kind of gross, but I thought it was cool. Here's a gold plate. Here's one candle. Oh, there's the other candle. I got two of them. Um, got those at a thrift store. That at a garage sale, that's like a dispenser so I could put like mints in there or something like that if I wanted. These are coasters from, god where are they from, Indonesia I think. Got those at a garage sale. Got a couple of mason jars and then these are silver cups that are pretty old. These are two like mason jar like things. And then this is a candle I got at a thrift store for a dollar and then none of this was at the thrift. This is the only thing that wasn't from the thrift store. This is a bowl that my dad got for me. I think it's really cute. It's wood and it has like some designs on it. And then these are all these essential oils that my dad got for me too. I have like lemon and ginger and stuff like that. And then this is some stuff I need to give back to my friends so that I'm not taking that. And then lastly, I bought this at a garage or yeah, at a yard sale, garage sale. And I don't, I just kind of, oh, here we go. So it's like a hanging thing. I don't know what I would hang in here or if I'll even bring it, but it actually might be good for like bathroomy stuff. I'm not too sure. Or maybe books. That might be cute for books. But you can't just like punch holes in the wall um, in your dorm, so I don't really know what to do. And then this thing I'm so excited about. This is like a, just a little liquid dispenser. You can put like water in it or tea or whatever. It's pretty big. And then, yeah, so if you want to have hot stuff, you just put a little candle down here and you light it. You're actually not allowed to have candles in college, though, so it's going to be cold drinks in there. But, yeah, so there is everything. It's a lot of stuff on top of the decor that I already have. But, yeah, if I have anywhere I can decorate with this stuff, I'll probably take, like, the flowers and the wall hang and the dispenser and some... I don't know, probably this thing, maybe this thing. But it really just depends on what I have room for. But anyways, yeah, so today I'm just packing for college a little bit more. I did most of it last night and I'm cleaning my room. I'm just finishing cleaning it. You should have seen it before, it was so dirty. Oh, here's my shoe closet that I organized too. Pretty proud of that. I definitely don't wear all those shoes. Maybe I do, no I don't. Anyways. Yeah, so a little bit of packing for college, a little bit of cleaning my room, did most of those things last night, and I went to bed super late, and I got up really early because I had stuff to do today. So then I'll just be packing for Europe, and I have so much laundry to do, like more laundry than I've ever had to do in my whole entire life. This is my journal. I was writing in it just now. It's the one I took on all my STEM trips. It's like really beat up, but 
I figured for like kind of big events in my life, I'll just write in it real quick and then and then I will like appreciate having it later. So right now I was just writing about how I'm packing for college and how when I get back from Europe I move in like the next day and yeah, and these are some new sports leggings I got from Victoria's Secret. I'm really excited about them. Oh, how weird is this? Look at this. My grad announcement, it used to be white and I, I guess the light like stained it yellow. Isn't that weird? And there's my grad cap. It's super cute. I have all these vases, reed diffuser, all these cute little bottles, some candles, clocks, lanterns. My little stegosaurus right there. This is from when I was uh, homecoming royalty. A dachshund that I sculpted in ceramics class in high school. Okay, this is just turning into a room tour now. I'll just call this a room tour. An aspen tree with these little copper lights. I should take these to college or just take the whole tree, but I think I'll just take the lights because the tree is kind of big and it's kind of fall. And then over here I have a jewelry box that Will gave me, a cup from a garage sale, a little box, bracelets, stickers. Oh, this I got also at a garage sale. I think it's cute. I, just, I wouldn't wear it as a necklace, but I thought it was cute to hang up. Candle, and then this is like a vase made out of stone it's like pretty heavy and it just like is hollow so you would just put like one flower in it really a couple of pieces of marble because we went to this mining town that used to mine marble so they just have like chunks of it all over the place and then this is just like a cute little bag I like and then this is an incense burner I don't really like to burn incense because it usually just smells like smoke to me but I thought it was cute and then this is like a placemat I'm pretty sure but I just thought it was cute and then here's another cool vase it's like a test tube and it's it's dirty right now but yeah it's like wire wrapped and you just put like one cute little flower in it here's some coins my dad got me here is my jewelry tree here's a candle that is cool it kind of like winds up and you like clamp it and then here's a present that my dad's girlfriend got for me cute little vase here's bubbles from my cousin's wedding too so that is basically everything in my room and here's my beloved collection of lotions and hand sanitizers and soaps over here and uh, body sprays yeah now I'm just procrastinating and I need to do what I need to do so stop distracting me okay so I actually did not do any of the stuff that I said I was gonna do today because uh, um, I found out today that my gym is closing. I haven't gone there for very long, but it was this self-defense and fitness gym, and it was, like, my favorite thing ever. I always got really excited to go, and I loved... Being there, it was so much fun, and there, everybody was so nice. Everybody there was awesome, and our our instructor was just so great, and I always left there feeling amazing, and I, I always looked forward to going to the classes, and so I, I only actually got to go there for a little while, and I'm just kicking myself now that I didn't start at that gym like in elementary school it it was like one of the best things I've ever done and it only lasted for not very long I actually cried about it like a lot because I don't know if I'll ever find anything as good as that that was just like a miracle that I found that gym it's so sad and then I just have been sad and then I came back and I went on an angry bike ride Jeez, it's going to take me a long time to get over this, and I will never, ever forget what an awesome class that was. My expectation for workout classes is so high now. I just... <sighs> Whatever. I'm not. Anyways, on a lighter note, I will pack for Europe now. I'm very lucky that I'm going to Europe, and I'm very excited.